It's a tax show, Jim, but not as we know it. Be a cheeky tit. And this is great banter. I'm in. A, I'm in. The, this is the this is the deepness of of America and the subway system here. Because I don't miss I don't miss this stuff. I don't miss it. I'm, I almost missed it. But we're here. Look at this is Philadelphia. There's people want to see this. They want to see that. This is the real Philadelphia. You don't see this on Rocky Two Blu-ray. Good morning, home, everybody. Are you, are you going somewhere? Or are you heading home? Oh, I'm go. I'm going home. <laughs> I was supposed to be home for this. I had to. I had to make a quick city errand. What was the errand? <laughs> He's just breaking up. <coughs> Tom Oldham went to Witherspoons. Yeah. Yeah. We're about to lose Nate. He's going under a tunnel. Is it? Is it a subway? What is? It's a subway. It's a tunnel. It's a tunnel. I'll be out of here in minutes. I, I'll, <laughs> I'll be out of here soon. God, uh, so unprofessional. I will, we'll wait. Yeah, it launched. It's out, Josh. It launched. Very Morning. exciting. I hope. Uh, uh, I've got a horrible cold. Do you have a cold? Anyone got a cold? No. Man, I the worst cold. Jack's really sick. Everyone's sick. Uh, my mother-in-law is sick. My baby is sick. We're all really sick. We've done COVID tests. It's not COVID, but my God, we're sick. Um, oh, jeez. Is it I'm bad? Sure. No, it's just flu or a cold. Lots of snot. And, uh, you know, I can't hear very well. And I feel horrible. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> But then we got the the book is live. We spent all morning doing numbers and measuring things. And you did? Things. Uh, me and Jack, so I got oh. in charge of the hardcore ship station stuff. And we are still using PayPal, Josh. I've been very bad okay. me about my my uh, distrust and my hatred of PayPal after they stole all our money for a month and then all that stuff about them fining people for weird reasons. Uh, but we yeah, decided so we've, crossed, we've, then. we've stuck with PayPal. Out of, not not just sheer laziness, but uh, you know, convenience for the consumer. Uh, they do have good buyer protection. It's like they, they don't care about business people, but they do care about the consumers. So, so which know, works any... out for these folk, the riffraff in the chat. Exactly, the cons- you're not riffraff, Josh. Our, our treasured consumers, not even yeah, consumers, uh, not not customers. I, just, I, I meant beloved really audience. Yeah, I, audience. I get that. I get them confused. Beloved audience. I get these two mixed up sometimes. Of the arts, or uh, I don't know, uh, coin of yours, uh, coin of yours. Oh my god, Nate's on fire! He's in, <laughs> he's on fire! Oh my god, why is nobody around him panicking? I guess they're just used to it. It's Philly. Oh my gosh, he's on fire! God, the budget's really that man's on fire too. It's the budget of Manga Chat's going through the fucking roof right now. I know, this is like uh, this is this is like the jump between Terminator 1 and Terminator 2. Amazing. Oh, he's okay. Oh, there's just a couple of flies now. Oh my gosh, that must. Oh no! Wow, that premium was, content. That was yeah, that was top shelf. That was amazing. Well, let, let's have a look at the sales numbers, Josh. I noticed, but I, I put it up a few minutes early before two o'clock just to test. This is an exciting bit. We sold we sold six copies. There were six sold. Um, okay. There were forty three views for you know that was that was in like we had like forty three views. I had not announced it or anything. So let's give it a refresh here. This is very exciting. It's probably in a lot of people's carts, yeah. Nate's on fire again. 
Okay, 389 views and 249 sold. Boom. That's pretty it's insane. Good. <laughs> In five minutes, that's pretty good. Gosh, I love the high, the, the adrenaline, dear audience, of putting a zine on sale and, uh, and yeah, yeah. Two, 249 sales and just knowing like, Oh my God, Josh, we didn't waste all of our money printing all these fucking books that are sitting in my car. Yeah, yeah. Thank fuck they've, they've paid for themselves. We can yeah, I think and, and, and we're already money. in the profit zone. We are. Rents can be paid. Uh, you know, it's expensive here in Los Angeles. Uh, you know, we, we're producing paper books in the middle of a recession. Nate's in a subway on fire right now. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it, when, someone says when reaching US stores in the. Um, it won't. Probably won't. See, the way it works is the stores buy the books for wholesale. So essentially they say, hey, sell me a bunch of your product at half price so I can make money on it as well. When we could just directly sell them online and Josh and I could make all the money so we can like pay for ear medicine for our babies or rent or like help our mothers out uh, and do stuff Did like you, that. Did uh, you, you been getting a lot of messages this morning because I've got a lot of shops in my inbox. No, I haven't actually, no. I guess, I guess they, they, <laughs> they must think you're a soft touch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they know that I'll tell them to feck off. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm the uh, yeah the approachable one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I have all the stores in my inbox this morning. Uh, yeah, I, I think I saw uh, who's the uh, all the problems in this world. The nice guy from Berlin who I, I needed to get back to about another thing, a T-shirt from months ago. I was still having so you know it's, it's deadline season, Josh. As you know, we're, we're uh, yeah, working yeah. really hard right now. It's very hard to keep up with messages. So. Yeah, no, I'm sure some shops are, are trying. I just had Berlin. But, you know, again, shipping overseas. I mean, the overseas shipping on these books is a fucking nightmare. Um, <laughs> this I, is really, mesmerizing. It really is. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the shipping overseas is not pretty. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's the price of the book again, which is not, not good for the, uh, for the patrons of the arts, the consumers, the, the connoisseurs of the printed comic arts. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's a bit rough. Um, but yeah. even at 20 euros, you're still getting value for money. Yeah, I mean, you can sell it on eBay later. I mean, what, the first one, the summer fun annual that, that pairs well with this, if you've already got that one, you have to get this one because they, they go together as a set. But I think there's one a $60 US, 60 USD on uh, eBay currently for the yeah. uh, the first one. So, you know, this, you, you, you could scalp it. I'm just putting that, that was out. me. I saw, I, I put that one on eBay. That's my personal copy. That's you. Okay. No, no, no. Jokes, but I'm back. I'm walking. I'm minutes away. I, minutes I away totally believed you there, Nate. I totally really? believed you. Yeah. Fun no, games. Put line and sink. Yeah, fun games with that maze. And I tried playing that. Adventure. I tried to maze. play that. I, lost. I fucking lost every single time. It's so hard. Did you run into all the shitty condoms? Well, I kept on having to go back, and I got really mad, and I ripped the book up. Oh, you're talking about Ian Danelby's adventure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got home and got your dice out and had a go. Yeah, I know. I kept on getting things stuck inside of me. It was like, <laughs> it became a real medical precaution, and I, I, I had to stop. Oh, I apologize, guys. This is not, this is not ideal, this, this situation right it's, now. It's, so we, we're seeing man on the street right now. In, uh, in uh, the, the whole city's burning. I mean, my God. Oh, this is Philadelphia. It's on fire. Oh, Nate, can you stop someone? Media. The right-wing media was right. The whole city's burning. People are on fire. Oh, my gosh. Can you stop someone and ask them if they're excited about the Werewolf Jones and Sons autumnal grievance spectacular? Yeah, man on the Excuse me? Are you excited about the Werewolf Jones summer fun or uh, autumnal grievance annual? All right. Well, turns out not a lot of people really know about this kind of thing. <laughs> You mean alternative comics are a niche thing in North America? Oh my gosh. I mean, I really thought I'm in a major metropolitan fucking city here. I thought that these people would have some culture at least. She I did assume not people who make, thought people would make books for all millionaires and stuff and like doing really well. And oh my gosh, I thought people cared about it or respected what we do. No, that's just not, that's just not the case, unfortunately. Like a real piece of shit, God, I yeah. feel like such a crackpot walking down these roads on fire. Like, I mean, since someone put me out, Jesus Christ, I am burning. It hurts. Ow, ow. It hurts so much. Well, it's the state of America now. You know, people won't even piss on you if you're on fire. You know? It's a sad state of affairs. No, with the things these people are eating, the piss would only be more flammable. It's way more acidic and, and, and flammable. I would, I would burn oh, more. That's all the oil in American food. Yeah, trans fats. Right. 
I remember when you could leave your door unlocked and then someone would come and give you a kiss good night. Right. And they give you maybe they give you like a pie and a warm glass yeah, yeah. of milk. Maybe a warm milk pint. I still do that where I live. I leave the car unlocked all the time. It's fine. So yeah, that's not an invitation to come and drive my car. <laughs> you're you're in the you're in the uh pie on the windowsill area of Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> This is me almost dying. Well, I could have been close. It could have been bad. Oh, man. How well, close to your house are you? I'm about four minutes walking distance. That's good. That's close to the train station. That's nice. Uh, I, I, live, I live with no cars as a problem. Gas prices mean nothing to me. <laughs> I just I walk everywhere. I train everywhere. I really had to do this nighttime errand. I need, I need to stop. I really need to... Uh, Buckle down here and take this seriously. Here, this is bad, but people like this. People like seeing a, seeing a fire city. I think seems quite peaceful. A little bit. But it's quite nice. I'm getting, some, uh, I'm getting some runoff sales. Runoff. That's what they used to call me in high school, Josh. Yeah, no, it's exciting. Big zine launch day. We uh, we missed uh, we missed out having the permanent damage the zine fair, which we'll talk about later, I'm sure. But yes, we do yes. But well, we see you guys more than the permanent damage crowd. Of course, we love our digital manga chat audience. We we love every manga chat viewer. Yeah, it's an exciting day. Exciting day. You've got to get your gecko. I wonder if Nate's getting any runoff as well. I wonder if anyone's like, gosh, I better invest in a copy of Gecko by by Nate Garcia also. Well, I was hoping I'd be home to hold it up. So I've also got those brand new 11 by 14 signed horsewoman prints that nobody in permanent damage fucking wanted. I had a man say to me, oh, actually, I'll take the good one. And he pointed to, <laughs> he, he pointed to the other print that I had. I said, what do you mean the good one? He's like, oh, I can't be having that in my house. What? It's beautiful. <laughs> I mean, I realized I kind of, I kind of discovered the line of where people... The, the line between what I like and what's commercial, and I realize it is the most uncommercial print of all time. I found I found it to be very wholesome, and lighthearted, and fun. But these well, you gotta that, sell. You gotta target that print at Remy Boy Dale's audience. Yeah. Oh, get a grip on reality. It's not a furry. Well, it could be. It could be. I mean, I I appeal. I love the furry community. My work appeals to the furry community. I welcome their furry dollars. Um, I welcome their furry dollars. That's not them off or slagging off Remy. It's just saying it's a different audience. That's all I'm saying. I see. I see. Well, I mean, people were accusing me. Oh, they were accusing me of some horrible things. Jaime Hernandez said, "Is that Jack Cohen?" I said, "No." <laughs> I said maybe because it's an orange dress. I understand. I, 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 the colors, yeah, yeah. But you don't understand. Don't, don't, you, be, don't you be drawing my wife as no horse. <coughs> crossing the line. I know. I would never do such a thing. Is 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 modeled from a different model. Uh, but it's it's these are the these are the these are the things that I have to deal with. The questions I have to answer. It's horrible. I'm living in a hell sometimes with these horse people, and all I want to do is paint them. But no, it just becomes more problems every single day. Every, every single day is a new problem. <laughs> but um, yeah, what are you gonna do about it, eh? Nothing. I guess I have to make them less more less less wife adjacent. I guess. Yeah, I mean, I didn't want to say anything. But, oh, you know, oh, oh, really? I was pretty upset. <laughs> uh, everybody's been saying that. They said, "Well, I didn't want to say anything, but." Dot, dot, dot. Well, what, well, God damn it, just say it, you know? Yeah, we need more uh, honesty. We need more honesty in our discourse. You're right, Nate. <coughs> what, yeah. what a heart smart journey we're all going on today. Yeah. On Manga chat. Oh, but all, all that to say, people can buy that print and gecko on my, on my store if they'd like to. Uh, I don't know. I haven't got any of those prints to hold up, but. Yeah, go and make or get some stuff. Mine, get mine, bubbles. Yeah, mine's in the living room. Oh, yeah, we have to talk about the new bubbles. I should write that down. Yes. Now, I guess, we have to plug the new bubbles. The new bubbles are coming out. We love What's bubbles got, here. Yeah, here. Robert. He has a, a new Gina Winbrand comic. That's mm -hmm. in, the, in the bubbles. Mm hmm. This new Winnie Brand, that's, that's welcome. I think Gina Winbrand's not drawn a comic since 2019, so it's exciting. 
That's not true. I think she did one comic a few years ago. She did, some, more, uh, more. she did some, like, animated comics for The Believer or something like that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I think that the recently animated one was good. There was a Sonic the Hedgehog feet-licking print, which I enjoyed. <laughs> I like a good feet-licking joke. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, she's good. I want a new book. I would love a whole Gina book. Uh, I'm waiting with bated breath. But anyway, that's exciting. New Gina in the new Bubbles. Uh, for people that don't know, Bubbles is a, a zine or a magazine about comics by a guy called Brian who we call Brian Bubbles, most people do. Um, it's, it's the best, uh, you know, forget the comics journal, forget, you know, Forget whatever. it. Well, Austin English now. That's for the print edition. Yeah, the, the print comics journal might be interesting again because uh, Austin English is editing it. But, but Bubbles is the best, all the capsule reviews. If you want to know oh. what's going on in comics, if you want a great snapshot of the whole scene, check out Bubbles and the whole capsule review section. The reviews are, are all sorts of stuff. It's very informative. Bubbles is the greatest. Brian is the greatest. I slept at his house one time. I just got off of a 12-hour Greyhound bus. And while I was sitting on his couch and we were watching Jeopardy around 7 p.m., he said, hey, so we're going to watch this and maybe we'll go to a show or something. I said, oh, that's so exciting. I'd love to see the Virginia's, Virginia Richmond band scene. And then next thing you know, I'm in dreamland. And I wake up, not three, not two, four, four <laughs> blankets. Four blankets and two pillows. He tucked me in like a little girl. I felt so at home. I was like, my God, are we going to get married? It was great. So Brian is the greatest guy. Can I add like maybe an inch extra distance on your microphone? Oh, is it loud? Am I ear raping everybody? Oh, I'm not sure. in the comments are saying it's like the breathing is very loud. Language. Oh, I'm sorry. Language. I'm sorry, guys. Ooh. Trying to be family friendly over here now, Manga Chat. I haven't said I keep the C forgetting. word once today, have I? I, think, I don't think I've said the C word. C word? Cordial? Oh. oh. oh, oh I I've see. Well, that was, just, well that, was, that was an academic speech just to you know, show an example of what the word was. We are on my street now. We're getting close. We are getting really, 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 really fucking close. What other effects do you have aside from fire? What do you yeah, mean? What are, this is not an effect. I'm burning. It hurts so much. Oh. Nobody wants to help me. Nobody oh. wants to help me put this out. It hurts. Ow! Oh, it's really the immersion for everybody. Ow, ow. Fuck. I'm almost back. <laughs> the acting was incredible. Fuck. Like, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> the the Oscar right. goes too. My gosh. I'm curious what our sales are like now. Uh, it had gone up by about 100 books, Josh. Uh, it was on 343. Oh, awesome. It's on 367. So. 367. I put 750 in, so uh, what, what's left? Like, I can't do math right now. I'm, I'm too ill. I'm so glad people are buying them because with each, with each one, I do, I do read each one and I say, oh, this will be the career ender. No, no, no. This will be the career ender. No, no, no. <laughs> this one. Each one. I'm so surprised. It's great. All right, guys. 333 copies left. Right, get I don't want anyone in my inbox being like, uh, that book that's really sold out, uh, do you have any copies left? What's going to happen? I, I know. Did, I did put a warning last night in my story saying, heads up, you know, you, know, you, you want these things. You've you got to follow us. you gotta, you, know, you got to keep up. you got to hit the bells for notifications. I'm like, you know, that's what I do. Like, I wanted to buy a shirt from uh, – the frog home video people this morning and I, I checked uh, I checked up they they announced when it was going to happen like four days ago so I was like okay 10 a.m chicago time I set an alarm and then the alarm went off at 10 a.m and I was like boom that's for that shirt and I ordered it but you know I knew what I was doing so I'm not going to write to them and complain like oh, oh help help you want to get in the system <coughs> it's not too difficult it's part of fandom you know just like keeping up with it and you know, it kept me amused for days, for like four days. I was like, oh, I can't wait to buy this shirt. Oh, fuck, that's exciting. Like, wow. You know, something to think about, something to do, something to, you know, distract you while you're doing the dishes. Wow, I can't wait to buy that shirt. When's that? Yeah. Oh, it's tomorrow, isn't it? It's tomorrow. And like, got my alarm set. Very exciting. So, you know, I, I mean, people right now, I mean, they're just so excited, like, buying our book and stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. There's just 380 in stock. Go up. Did, did people return them? Is that possible? <laughs> uh, Nate's made it home. He's still on fire, though. 
It usually, it usually with the uh, with the, the the black mold puts it out with the chemicals. Uh, hold on one sec. Should be out of the. Uh, oh, good. Oh my gosh, oh, that was hurting so much. It hurt me. Oh. And we're back. And what do I have here within my grips? I hope, I hope there's what? No I hope there's no burn victims watching today. I hope like Travis Barker isn't watching or anything. It might have actually been there. Or Jay Leno. Yeah, well, Jay Leno, exactly. That may be. I, I think Jay might be a fan. He probably watches when he's driving around in his classic cars. That may have been really triggering. Sorry, Jay, well, if you're watching. Well, I, I like to always make sure I'm not offending uh, Jay Leno with each word I say. He's That's always the guy. goal. King of late night. Well. Yeah, he went out at number one. That's great. <laughs> Well, we've made it back. It's, pro it's professional now for, for anybody else. <laughs> it's really, professional really now. Yeah, it's, it's professional now. What, what are your plans for the night there, Nate? What are you working on? I've got a pen. I'm going to start. Uh, I've got a pencil out the rest of this uh, new story that I did last night. Um, I was having a great time last night. I was laughing my urethra off writing this new comic. It's pretty It's pretty bad, though. It, it's, uh, it's not as bad as um, Plum Pocket was. You know, rest in peace. But it'll be funny. I'm really excited to get started on it. Yeah, yeah I'm very excited. It sounds promising. Was that the whole book, 30 pages, or is it going to be a long one? Uh, no, it'll be a longer one, I think. Well, it's 30, it's 30 pages of material, but I'm not sure if it's all going to be in a book. It's like two stories, so I want to okay. write one. Maybe have like four stories in it or something. Awesome. But look at this. We're back. It's like nothing ever happened. It's like I was never on fire. I just, I just erased a panel. I was unhappy with it. So I'm redoing it. But now I don't know if this is working either. I hate that. Having to, you draw a whole panel and then it's like, ah, it's just, I, I started on the next page. And I was like, no, nah, it's bothering me. I know. Well, then sometimes you do it and the, the, the first one was better. And you like, wish you could go back in time control Z or something. But we use paper. No control Z. <laughs> First one was shite. Mm. I've got my chicken here. I'm so excited to eat it. Because I've been hungry all day. I'm so, uh, I've am so i got no money. So hungry. And I'm so excited to dig in. You guys see this? No money. You need to sell some prints, Nate. Do you have any prints that you could sell, maybe? Of course. Any, people can any, buy them. I just don't have any? anything to hold up. Do you have any? In the living room. Josh, have ah. you got one of these uh, sexual horse prints? No, but they can go to, uh, what is it, Nate Garcia's cartoons dot .com and see it. Yeah, yeah, Nate com. they can get it. They can also get Gecko, too. This is from May. It's hilarious if you like this kind of thing. It's a, this bit, I, I don't know if I've said this on here. This uh, this, this, this uh, last scene where he has the E. coli, it's based off of a conversation Josh and I had a long time ago when I had food poisoning. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there's a there's a bit of Josh in there too, and there's um, a thing that Josh did for it in the back. Go and buy that right after buying the Werewolf Jones autumnal grievance spectacular. That's right. Oh, that's right. Gotta pick that up. So now, at permanent there. damage, you guys did have this, and I don't. I feel I feel bad promoting it right now because I don't know if they can even get it. But this is something they can look forward to. I guess the Tedward Classic Movies TCM. Brand new split book. Now, this isn't one of them books where you do a bonus pinup. This is a split book, half and half. Half and half of brand new uh, Simon and brand new Josh comics, right? Yeah, that'll be available soon, but not right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we got to get it out soonish, but uh, yeah, Werewolf Jones first, and then I guess we wait a little bit of time, and then we go on the Tedwoods. Yeah. Uh, those lucky, lucky customers who got those at the uh, at the permanent damage. They must be having a lot of fun right now. Yeah, I got some good feedback on it. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. People were loving it. Laughing from start to finish, they say. Yeah. Damn. It was full of real, real belly laughs. I was, I was cracking up reading it. Uh, oh, it my favorite. Too, but... My favorite panel, and this will be no spoilers, but I think this is one of the craziest panels of all time. 
This is a roller skating accident. I will not spoil what happened, but my God. Terrible panels. Terrible. <laughs> well, why, would, why would you tell? Well, well, wait wait for it to be sold out before you tell them that. I think it's great. Oh, yeah. um, I just hate my own work. There's no secret that I hate my own work. That's true. That's true. <laughs> also, I was, I was very surprised by these. Friend, uh, you never our good friend Brandau says, Ted would book rules. Lolled at that one. Oh, they Brandau? Lulled? Yeah, Brandau says he lolled at it. Oh, that's great. Did he, did he ruffle, though? Did he, did he ruffle? Andrew, did you do any ruffling? It was ruffle worthy. I hope so. We'll uh, just wait for an answer. I think also... Yeah, the, silence, uh, while we, what, silence, Nate, while we wait for Andrew Brandau to let us know if he ruffled at the Tedward Classic Movies Zine Fair edition. No, well, he, 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 his silence speaks volumes. <laughs> I mean, I think this is one of the funniest panels here, Josh. I think some of the funniest comics you've done are in, are in this new Tedward book. Same with Werewolf Jones. I mean, he's he's making inventions. He's look at this. He's making sex trousers. I was laughing my urethra off. Yeah, if Josh doesn't Andrew, get fucking uh, ignorant. My God. Andrew says I rubbed my belly while while lolling. So he obviously didn't ruffle. Whatever. A we don't need you to ruffle. Yeah. Belly rubbing is good there. All right, I have done better on this panel the second time here. I am happy with this now. It's nice. Still, there's still too much empty space at the bottom, but uh, <coughs> it'll do the job. We're on we're on a tight deadline, me and Josh. Uh, and now Nate, and now maybe Nate, you've been roped into. We were all very uh, out of it, and it was late when we were talking about you coloring a bit for this book. But you still, you still, yeah. That? Oh I've sent him. I've been. My, I sent him a compromise. Oh, right. Shit. Oh, that one. That's a good one. The the one with the park. Yeah, those toilets. Yeah. Are oh, you going to color that? Nice, nice. Okay. Yeah, well, I, I remember that was actually the one you were talking about would be better in color because of the dick through the hole. and the anus. Yes, the, the toilets. I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm envisioning a, a pale cream for the toilet, like stall interiors, like gray concrete walls. Uh, yeah. Gray concrete toilet with cream, like stall dividers and doors. And well, you know, obviously gray, gray duct tape where the 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 thing comes through anyway we, we can talk about it privately in uh in suburban pennsylvania where i'm from there's all of these parks by my house with those bathrooms so i'm very familiar yeah, i knew yeah, that I, kind of bathroom you were you were doing it's I, back I figured you would I, I you know you've got a lot of stories to tell and you know you can get around to different toilets i figured you'd know what toilet i was talking about yeah i look forward to it. i think it'll be good josh send me the color palette there'll be no fooling around uh no um no artistic liberties, really. I'm going to be working like a... Well, yeah, I don't know. I've been enjoying Josh's colouring. We're, we're talking about the audience. We're talking about the upcoming Werewolf Jones uh, collection of all sorts of stuff. There's all sorts of new stuff in there that we're working on right now. But we're colouring it with the computer. But Josh has been doing a very good job. That's what I wanted to say. I just had to set it up uh, for people who didn't know what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah it's jo looking Josh, good. You, you've done so good, Josh. There, there's a pair of Crocs that Josh had to... Uh, like American flag, old glory Crocs that Josh had to color, and he just nailed it. Like it did exactly, the, it's like you were psychic, Josh, and you just yeah, you just you just knew that the tab was blue, and just I've not found any mistakes. And you know, you, you sent me a, a big dump of pages you colored, and it was just it was all perfectly done. And I was just like, what I imagined in my mind. I don't even have to say anything, and you just yeah. So we'll see how Nate does. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll see if it's just as bad. Well, I told him to send the first page first so we can see if it is what we want. <laughs> no, I think it looks good. I've been railing against computer coloring for years. You know, I'm known for it. I used to be really cruel in interviews. Um, but it just says nice flat colors. It looks good. It's just the way Klaus or Burns or whoever does it. Just nice flat colors like an old time yeah. comic book. Printed, I think it's going to look really nice with just that sort of yeah. the printer marks, little dots. You, know, you look up close and it's all dotty looking. It's going to look real nice. Um, yeah, it's very excited. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm glad to have you on board, Nate, especially mostly because the deadline is fucking terrifying. <laughs> I was talking to Mr. Reynolds, our boss, uh, yesterday, and he, uh, he's off on a trip, and then he gets back, and it's like, our first week of January, and it's like, <sighs> but yeah, we can do it. You know, I'm, I did six and a half pages of penciling yesterday. I'm, I'm, I'm barreling through, and... Josh is colouring like a madman, and now you're yeah. on the job, Nate. I mean, Nate is being paid for his labour. He's not an unpaid intern. 
You know, yeah, it's, not, yeah. it's not child labour. He will be paid for his time. And you'll get a nice additional colour by Nate Garcia credit. Yeah, and well, a free copy of the book. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. People think I would do this for free? You're ridiculous. You're out of your wits. You think I got time for that? No. Nate, I'm you can, uh, when, you, when you table the festivals, you can tear out the pages that you colored and you can sell them. Yeah, I'll sell them as prints. Yeah, yeah. That'll be good. So my dish- coloring. And this is my dinner, guys. I need some money. It's so bad. Well, yeah, we got to go. Don't you need to PayPal, you man. You can, don't go hungry. <laughs> No, I won't. I, I won't. I've got actually some tuna that I will be cooking up on toast later. Uh, once I get my work done, that'll be my... Wait, can, can tuna? Oh, uh, no. I'll, I'll show you. It's good. It's good stuff. Yeah, I was going to say, don't cook can tuna. No, it's... Uh, so they've got Northern Catch Harvest of the Sea, premium, lightly marinated, mm. chunky light. Premium. It's premium. Yeah, are you supposed to cook that? Up. That looks like it's supposed to be served cold. It is served cold. Okay, so you're not cooking it. No, 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 no. I'll cook up the toast, and I'll. Oh cook yeah, it. yeah. It's like actually some of the best tuna I've ever had. It go- it goes bad August fourteenth, twenty twenty four. So it has to be healthy for me. Eighty calories, one pouch, seven point eight grams, seventy point eight grams. Sorry. It's canned tuna in a bag. Also, someone asked me. I noticed this. <laughs> it's canned somebody, tuna in a bag. Somebody asked me. If, if Pasquale's uh, cards me, the bar that's near my house, not bar, uh, it's like a pizza place slash beer dispensary if they card me for alcohol. I was told for years that they don't card. I went in there one time. I said, I said, uh, 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 I said let me get these high lives here. And they said, uh, they're just like, okay, he rings me up. And he asked me for my ID. I said, wait a second. I've been told for years that you guys don't card. I'm <laughs> years old and I want to get drunk. What the fuck? And uh, and then they escorted me out. But uh, I have to find alcohol b- b- uh, within other means now. Next time, don't pencil on a mustache. Yeah. Oh, I can't go in there anymore. No, they don't want me in there. I won't <laughs> go in there when I do turn 21. Just they know me bad in that place. But they do have really good pizza fries. I get those on a weekly basis. Yeah. You guys like pizza fries? <laughs> pizza fries. What the fuck's pizza fries? You never heard of that? So it's a lot of people think pizza fries are gross because they get soggy, which is not even true if they're done right. It, they do it with a crinkle cut French fry that's really, 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 really crisp. And they put marinara sauce over top. And then they, uh, they, they put mozzarella cheese on top of it. So it's like a pizza, but instead of bread, it's uh, French fries. That does sound fucking amazing. I'd, I'd fucking love to eat that drunk. Get really drunk. Oh, yeah. it. oh, and it's like, ah, it's like, yeah, it's messy. It's shit it's, out of that. Honestly, kind of a sexy meal. It's like kind of hot to eat that. Yeah, shit. yeah. No, I was, I, I was gonna say I want to go down on that meal. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I, I go down on it on 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 a weekly basis. Like I said, it's great. Um, but they 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 do a good job, even though. They're they they're responsible with who they sell alcohol to. I don't judge them. I really don't judge them. But yeah, they don't want to lose their license, you know. Yeah. Can't be too careful. I uh, I want to know though. Um, everybody here right now is watching. They're excited. They bought their new books, and they're probably a lot of these people buying these books. They're probably not going to eat this week because of that book. Because they know the urgency of it. They know if they miss out on it now, they're never going to get it. So they're probably sacrificing a lot. So these people are hungry in this chat. They're really hungry. So let's talk about what we all had for breakfast. Look how nice they look together. It's a perfect set. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, you got If you bought the first one, you got to go without food. And, you know, if you, maybe your child needs, like, new shoes for a running race they have at school or something, and they really want these new shoes. Don't get them for them. Like, sorry, little Timmy, like, you know, mummy had to get the, the, the autumnal grievance spectacular. It goes with the old summer one back when, remember when we had money and shoes without holes in them? That was yeah. a nice yeah. time. There was no war. It was a nice time. But, uh, 
Yeah, no, make sure you pick it up. You don't want to miss out. These will sell out in the next uh, probably few hours. Um, terrible covers, says uh, Draub Hell. Thank you very much. Oh, he's a friend of mine. He's, a, he's just rather than me. Oh, good. That, that almost sent me into a depressing tailspin. I almost just like threw the fucking table up and said, stream's <laughs> over. I'm out of here. So, thanks for clearing that up, George. I almost had a very embarrassing meltdown live on camera. <laughs> that was really fucking close. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Ground. Ground. Unify. Serenity now. Okay. Okay. Oh, I found a picture of these prints, by the way, if anybody is interested. Here's a... Oh, please. Okay, I, so I, here I it is. I filmed some film this, this weekend. I, I took a picture holding it when I finished it. Um, I thought this was, they thought this was uh, my wife. Uh, so who, who, said that? Who, who said that to you, Nate? Simon. I, think... I had four fucking people tell me that they thought this picture was a picture of Jack Kahn. And it pisses me off to no end because if I really wanted to draw your goddamn wife, I would. I really would. But I, I don't. Sure. I, did, I looked away and then I looked back and I got really confused. You're holding up a photograph of yourself holding the prints. So I got really confused and upset. I didn't know. I thought you'd gone all still, but you were moving weirdly. I started <laughs> what are getting you talking about? And now you're on fire. Oh, my God. Okay. I shouldn't have gotten so messed up before this stream. This is really messing with my mind, man. <laughs> is anyone else seeing the fan? This is probably not helping your, like, uh, fever. No. Here we go. I've got Nate's prints here. here, here I, I forgot there's a bunch of horse prints in my garage. But there's all the Werewolf Jones books uh, in the boxes. And here are the horse prints. Let's it's have interactive look. print. They can look around and they can find things that I would never admit to putting in there. Well, let's have a look they at look this on print the back. up close. So, so like, just, you know, pretend Nate is an OnlyFans girl. Like, come on, simps. Let's go. Like, Nate needs money. Let's check out his Amazon wish list. Let's you know, get him some food. He's just got bagged fish. He's got room temperature bagged fish. So we want to get him, get on to hit up his Ko-Fi, you know. You can buy it's this quite print. literally all I have, these fish. It's quite literally all I'm eating. Do, do these prints come signed, Nate? Oh, yes, they do. So there was a wow. batch that was signed, and then there was a batch that sent, got sent to you. The, the batch that's signed is also with those, probably. But Yes, yeah, I, I, need to, I need to send the prints to you. Oh, I can see. Look, oh, it's there in silver pen. 13 of 50. Hey Garcia, look at that! Wow, that's that's lovely. That's that's in a silver pen. This is yeah. quite large as well. This would look really nice on a wall. There's a bit of. Hang on, I'll get a bit of stuff. Oh, here we go. There's a bit of sticky putty. There's a bit of blank wall. So no, over over here, I guess. There's a bit of blank wall. Let's put that um, there. Look at that. that wow! Really, look at that. That looks really good. That sticks right on. Oh, okay. Yeah, for Simon, to answer your question, it was everybody who thought it was your wife, and it pissed well, me off. It actually really does, though. Uh, it looks just like a dress she'd wear, and the coloured tights, and the hair. She just had her hair cut into sort of a shorter thing. But that, the, her, yeah, no, I, mean, I, I, I can see why they said it, you know, except for the <laughs> horse's face. I mean, if that had the, if it was yeah, yeah. The, the face of my wife, I mean, that just, that, if you ask me in a police lineup, it's, it's your wife, sir. I'd say, yes, that's my wife. That's the kind of dress she'd wear. Except for the cigarette, though. She's not a smoker. That's not a cigarette. That is a, uh, that's a flavored joint. If you look closer, there's, there's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a blueberry. Um... She'd, she'd like that even less. Um, so, yeah, no, it's not. It checks out. You know, it's not. It's not my wife. It's just the dress and the tights and the hair. But she certainly does not have the face of a horse. Um, no, it's modeled after my bed as well in my bedroom. That's my windows, my bed sheets, everything. So very well rendered uh, teddy bear. It's very it's low lighting in here. This is teddy bear. Like, I have bad eyes and a lo very low light. So to me, that looks like a. I look. I feel like I'm looking at a photograph. That looks like a real teddy bear to me. Wow, really? Thanks. I, that that's one of the that's uh, that's from my head. All of those stuff. To add. I, I zoom in, it looks like shit. But uh, from, from back here in the dark, it looks really good. I'm glad. It, you can see. Uh, there, there's lots of stuff. There's cunnilingus posters in the top. He looks Mr. straight up close as well. Oh, so it's funny. Uh, little Lulu there. And, uh, what's his yeah. name? Oh, isn't that a little horse? Yeah, it's a drawing of her. Oh, this is cunnilingus. Oh, he can't show that on YouTube or we'll get done for grooming children or something. <laughs> There's a picture of me there taped over top of a muscle man because you want to know something? She believes in God and I made her. 
stuff. It's a, it's a lovely little painting there. There's so many little Easter eggs in here. It's fantastic. Incredible. There's a little sticker on here as well, a shiny sticker. Is that on all of them? <clears throat> That's on every single one of them, yeah. I thought so. I thought I saw some different applications, and I was like, "Has he put stickers individually? He signed and numbered them, and there's little stickers." My oh, gosh, I know. How I, much? I, you, I, how much are you selling these for? These are for these are twenty dollars USD. Twenty American dollars. Oh, my God, that's, that's a, a recession, sale. Recession buster, super sale. That's fantastic. It is. Yeah. This will this will cure the recession. I think it will really reset the economy. And then this, is how, this is how people can support Nate. He doesn't have a Patreon or anything, I don't think. Or if he does, it's not very successful. So, you know. Oh, I can't, don't promote it. <laughs> oh, you do have one? That's right. Yes. Yeah. You sell your coasters, that's right. Oh, well, I've, I've got those co Those coasters are up for sale as well uh, on my shop. Everything is there. I, I, I need, well, like I said, money. So. Oh, I've got an old coaster. I don't think you've got that one. And that's a great coaster. No, see, every yeah. coaster. Once they're gone, they're gone. So people got to get the new ones now. That I think a tiger a... is beautiful. Tiger, beautiful. That's movie. before you started racing the cloud lines, mate. That was that was yeah, an accidental yeah. cloud, not I race. Think... This one's available, isn't it? Yes, sure is. Yeah. That's the Halloween uh, Sheena, Sheena the horse in a pumpkin outfit with a wet mouth. Yeah, because she's just a little bit. Uh, what what, what, do, what do you sell? What, what do you sell these coasters for? It's a triple coaster uh, uh, bundle for fifteen dollars, five each. Damn! This is the great thing—you put a drink on it and you make a day out of it. You get a candle or something. I mean, it sounds great to me. It's, you know, I love these coasters. I use them all the time. I, you don't need to sell me on it. Wow. Well, right, anyway, hopefully that worked. Hopefully you've got a couple of sales there because we should actually try and talk about some manga or something and not just. Uh, you know, try to sleazily sell things to people. We have to try and trick people into thinking this is not just that manga chat is not just a two hour advertisement for our books. <laughs> yeah. It's it's entertainment, it's it's chat, it's it's everything. Well people people need to suck their suck their wits up about themselves and relax because every cartoonist cafe video is about fifteen and a half minutes of promotion in the beginning. We didn't yeah. do that at the beginning. We're doing it in the middle courteous to people they get they sit down, they're already locked in and they're invested and then we promote it. Do they do ads over there, you know, on k -Fab? Like, hey, just, you know, we're back in, let's just do three minutes of, like, established titles, like, blah, 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 or, you know, manscaping. No. Like, are they selling, like, ball hair trimmers yet? <laughs> or, like, you know, s Squatch soap or something? Like, no, it's just when they, no. they just promote their own books as we do, as they should, you know? But as they, they should. Do it kind of in the middle beginning. So it's nice. So, I mean, if we got, you know, contacted by Dollar Shave Club, you know, in a heartbeat, I'd be like, you know, we, we'd, we'd sell Dollar Shave Club. Um, it's a good price shave. Um, yeah, there yeah. You go. That was a little, that was a good little sound. Well, I'm getting money from DocuSign. I don't know about you guys. You are? Yeah, yeah. You do keep mentioning $5 a sure. mention. <laughs> Well, I'm going to have to counter that with I like Adobe Acrobat sign, and I think it's the best way to sign your books. <laughs> if you want I'm... to do a French deal or a Spanish deal or a Polish book deal, use Adobe Acrobat DocuSign, the best document signing software tool available on the market. I'm Someone in... says, why is Nate wearing sunglasses indoors? <laughs> what do you mean? I've got, to block out the... I've got to block out all the negative energy here. That comes out from all these harassers in the comments that are harassing me. They they say I know where you live. I'm gonna find you, and I can't see them. But permanent damage. Right. It was a good time. Bang! Scene report. Scene report. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't remember that much. To be honest, you with were me. there. <laughs> I was. Damage. It was a zine fair in Los Angeles this past weekend, December fourth, put on by Keenan Marshall Keller at the yeah. Permanent Records Roadhouse. I had a good time. Yeah, it was great. More anecdote. Who's got an anecdote? Anyone got an anecdote about the zine fair? Uh, um, I really only have that one that I can't really share. <laughs> Don't say that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna share that story. Um, I've got like 20 that I shouldn't share. <laughs> you know I mean? Well, you should share at one. I mean, we had a good time. Anna Highfish was next to us, me and Josh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nate and Jasper were outside the gate. We had, you know, croissants for lunch. I stepped in some dog poo when I left. That was really upsetting. Um, 
that marred the day for me. I had a, until you know, I, I was really upset. Uh, I was wearing some nice shoes and I stepped in a dog poo and it was really ups- really, I'm still upset about it. Um, but yeah, it was a good time. It, it was, there was a threat of rain. So Keenan, the organizer, had gotten all the tents. I believe, Josh, you helped out with that. I saw him yeah. on Instagram. So we were undercover. It didn't rain in the end. It was cold, but I was in a T-shirt all day. It wasn't that cold. Um, but people didn't come. People were scared. Um, in May, it was jumping. It was banging. We yeah, had, yeah. A hundred people in our line, me and Josh, we had to service a hundred different people. Um, but yeah, we had lulls. We had quiet times. It was, it was quite yeah, nice. Yeah. It was actually nice to have a, a, a quiet one and just be able to talk to people and kind of, you know. Yeah, it was nice. I liked it. I had a bloody good time. But I felt bad for Keenan because he was like, I really want people to come. And it was there. Yeah. Time. It was quiet. We tried our best. I mean, I filmed the promotional video to try and get people to come in the rain because it really pissed me off that people are really scared to come out in the rain. It's like, it was like it was like a barely a light mizzle, no drops on the ground, and nobody came. It was crazy. We we, we filmed the dry road to prove it and posted it, and still nobody. Uh, but we sold the we I, I made a good amount of money. I made my plane money back, and uh, yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, you know, it was like it was, the people who did come were spending money. That was good. The hardcores were there. The, you know, the, the, yeah. the really hardcore fans turned out. But you know, the, the Johnny Come Lookleys, the you know the the dabblers. You know, they just they didn't show up. Uh, I finally got rid of those two last small <laughs> power wash shirts. That was nice. Yeah, some children turned up, and you know, <laughs> they bought that. Yeah, our, yeah. Our, our, Jasper and I. And I love Jasper for this. He he was supposed to come to help do a recap, but he can't. He's help. He's he's at his grandma's house eating some kind of uh, eating some kind of bacon wrapped fish. But he was there, and I was there. We had to stand outside the gate because I'm not 21 yet. But Keenan Marshall came <laughs> on the table there, underage. It was good. <laughs> Jaime was there. Skelly, uh, yeah, Johnny Kathleen, Ryan, Kathleen Skeleton, Jonathan Ryan. Yeah, yes. Nordlinger was there. Came up from SF with his horror books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Stephen King of San Francisco. That's that's a bit insulting. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It was great though. Uh, 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 on uh, on Monday we got taken out. We got wine and dined. Jasper and I, and we got to go uh, eat some vegan wings with the Nordstrom Rack himself and Keenan Marshall Keller himself. Oh yeah, that was great. <laughs> Good. He's a uh, sweetheart, that Harry Nordling. He's a big old sweetheart, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I love him. He's a Jasper, sweetie boy. I, I forgot to say this. Jasper and I stayed in the we, – we found an Airbnb for the last two nights that we were in Los Angeles, and we stayed at this place, man. And it was literally the same house Sharon Takeout mauled in. And we were walking around every single night in Denny's, heavily in the rain, looking at the trees because the trees were big. Yeah, I was enjoying those late night videos. I was worried about you. So you guys <laughs> left to like, you know, midnight on like what? Oh, like Monday night. Yeah, it was like two in the morning. I went to bed like, eh, and you guys were like live walking through the streets talking about being murdered. And I'm like, oh, oh boys, am I going to, am I going to see, is this like a Faces of Death video? <laughs> you, you were safe, luckily. Yeah, we kept on walking to the Denny's and getting eggs Benedict and then regretting it each time. It's like we never learn, you know. But it was six. It was like six or seven bucks, so it was, it was a cheap. It was a cheap mistake, and uh, we needed food in our systems uh, at that moment because we, if we, if not, we would have probably thrown up our insides, our stomach. Line. I liked it in the live stream. We got a little glimpse of uh, what you guys order when you first go to a restaurant. Which orange juice and club soda? Yeah, that was me. That was me. Yeah. Jasper just got a water. I think yeah. it's because of the alcoholism, he can't really mix a lot of stuff with uh, whatever's going on in there, or else it'll cause problems or something. But I don't think I've had orange juice in about eight years. Really? Uh, well, you have to get it at Denny's. It's the best place. I went for a, f- a phase recently of having grapefruit juice every morning, and that's it, like that really wakes you up. Grape juice in the morning. Grapefruit juice, yeah. Uh, I don't know about that. I have, it, feels like, it feels like it's cleaning you out. I have a, a great yeah. seltzer sometimes in the AM, like a like a polar. But I don't know. I don't. I mean, I don't really like to buy drinks because it's it's really expensive. But I came home. I came home from the airport and I saw this on my windowsill, 
I don't know what kind of addicts I'm living with. Who the fuck does this? Do you see this? What is that? What are they doing? That's to stop it from going flat, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But there's nothing in this, and it smells like drugs. So I don't know. Uh, <laughs> is there, are there holes in the can or something? Are there any holes? Yeah. yeah. If there's holes, then they're doing something. They were up to no good, I believe. Wait, and why did you bring it in? Oh, this is just on my window, so when I got home, I haven't cleaned it up. I kind of like it, though. It kind of, It's kind of a grounding uh, uh, statue, I think. It's beautiful a little bit. Living with these crazy people, but uh, it's beautiful out here in Philadelphia, it's, even though I'm burning. And uh, Josh, you're going to be here. Great American city. Oh, permanent damage. I had my second experience of a fan bringing drugs. That was. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Am I allowed to say? Right, we can see. chocolate mushrooms. Yeah. I guess Which I'm probably not going to do because I freak out. I mean, Josh, I will say, though, you are kind of in some dicey territory because you are not born in America. You're just talking about drugs freewheeling. You want to get deported? Like, what do you want from this? Like, you want this show to end your life? Like, what are you doing? Well, that's, that's why it's good that I said, no, thanks. Oh, that's right. Oh, they brought it to you. You didn't take it. I remember that. I remember that. Hey, you I didn't take it, no. Yeah, I can testify that Josh did not take any psychedelic mushrooms. 100%. He did not. He's a massive pussy. <laughs> uh, straight away i just went absolutely not no way mr pusher man josh <laughs> family to think about you've got a dog you know yeah, yeah family to think about you've got you know you've got your dog <laughs> so, yeah stay healthy for that dog yeah, Bingo would not like it if you were mashed off your face on psychedelic mushrooms, rambling about, you know, whatever. The only mushrooms I do are stuffed bell peppers stuffed with mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, bang, bang. Yeah. Maybe a, maybe a glass of vino with that. A little bit of nutritional yeast on top to give it that crispiness when it comes out the other oven. Yeah. If anybody came up to me at the show, a permanent damage... Uh, I just want everybody to know I was not I was not given drugs. I stole the drugs and I was very, very out of it for the end of it there and I was laughing on the table. And Josh sat on the table. You remember when you sat? I got this really great picture of Josh sitting up on this table like 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 in Titanic when Rose lays down to get drawn. It was like that. It's so it was it's really hot. <laughs> I I just remember well, looking at blue eyes. I was trying to do more of like a David Brent when he's posing for those photos. Mm. Well it looked good. I mean, I mean, sometimes I look in Josh's eyes and I see the pumpkin patch and it freaks me out. It freaks me the fuck out sometimes when I see that pumpkin patch in those eyes. That means you love see that when you see that. Guys, it's probably getting too late. Make sure you buy the Werewolf Jones or Tunnel Grievance Spectacular. Yeah, enough random rambling. Let's get back to ads. More advertisements. <laughs> That's what Manga Chat's all about. Thinly veiled advertorials. Go and buy the books. How are we doing? We've sold 509 Werewolf Jones and Sons Autumn Grievance Spectaculars. Wow. 509 down. What is that? Saying? What's that? Like 241 remaining. Sold through two thirds of them already. So you better hurry up if you want one of these unless you want to pay the 241 left in stock. Unless you want to pay some scumbag. Simon, you're blocking your pod mic when you do that, FYI. I'm what? You're you're blocking your AirPod mic when you do that. It gets really muffled. My AirPod mic? Yeah, when you're holding it. You got yeah. an AirPod. My God, how yeah. old are you? I bought you those. In my Did ears. You I buy you those? Bought, I bought them myself. I'm a big boy. Okay. okay. Oh gosh, what a beautiful book. Yeah. Are these only prints, Nate? Since we we talked about your prints for like ten minutes earlier, surely somebody deigned to simp it up and go over and like. Nate's eating a bag of old warm fish. I'm going to go over and buy one of his prints so he can get some McDonald's or something good for dinner. There's a lot of people on social media that like to act like they are fucking poor as fuck. They like to act mm. like that. And me, I, and this is not even a joke. I really, really what I'm going to be eating for dinner, you guys. I, I, I mean, this is, this, is, this is no theatrics here. Um, 
I'm Come on, guys. Right. Let's get Nate a McFish, some fries, and a Sprite. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Someone sounds... just said in the comments, they just said, Nate, they're trying to buy a copy of Gecko, but it won't go through for some reason. The transaction right. won't go through. Oh, okay. Go I don't game. know if that's a, that might be on your end, could be on their end. I don't know, but that, that, that yeah, sometimes you can accidentally set something to unactive by mistake. I've done that. Um, we'll if, get you I'll, a, I'll say a, this, you. probably the fault, but let's see. Are you still in the dollar menu at Donnie's? I sure do, and I use it. Uh, oh, really? You can get a little chicken sandwich, like a buck or something, or two bucks. So they charge extra for extra mayonnaise. I like the extra mayonnaise. You know, I used to get Wendy's on the way home from work every day in Chicago, and I used to get the square barbecue burger. Every single day? Yeah. That's hot. Really, That'll definitely, like that, 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 that definitely sets you up for some good future um, um, health down the line. Oh, it's getting chilly in here. Because, Josh, you're, you are vegan now, so hopefully that cancels out all of your mistakes with fried food in the past. I don't know. Who knows? Well, I'm going to fix this problem right now in this store. I really hope it's not my fault. I would really fucking suck. Cool, it, it, pro it, it probably is their fault, I'll say, though. I, I, I'm going to shift all the blame. I know that the person who asked that is Canadian, so that might be just you haven't got Canadian shipping sent because that person's bought from me before. Uh, Canadian shipping is ridiculous. So I heartily apologize to all of these people who bought these books for the shipping prices. It's uh, yeah, especially because you have to add that like it's like six ninety five duty fee. Six ninety five duty fee. Something like that, but that might. I mean, I think we're probably shipping media mail, right? Maybe it doesn't count for that, but yeah, I think media mail U.S. It's media mail, I believe. Um, I'm not sure. I, I tend to make the books and do some admin for all the. All broken up. Uh, <coughs> different duties. The team, the Megan Mog LLC team. Stay tuned for our new Employee of the Month feature coming up on Instagram. Employees like Monty, the warehouse manager. Oh, yeah. Wait, am, am I in the running for that? For what? Employee oh, yeah. of the month. Well, you could be. Yeah, it's good. Oh, technically you are. I mean, you 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 know you're on the books, I guess. Yeah, we pay you as an independent contractor, I guess, through the LLC as payroll stuff. I guess you invoices and stuff. Yeah, so technically you are an employee. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not even the president of the company. I'm a secretary. Um, yeah, I, you know, I, I I don't deal with a lot of the. Business stuff. Anyway, it's all yeah. business, comics, business, behind the scenes business. I'm gonna do a TED talk on it one day. Um, they're working on my powerpoints and stuff. It's, you know, it's stuff you need to know. People um, are people are stupid. They they, they 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 just don't they just don't know how to work a computer because this is this is definitely working here. You can buy this twenty eight pages full color. All of these stories included. Look at that. It's That's so a many. banger of a book. A lovely little book. Uh, yeah. There's some rare auto bio in there. Masturbatory nonsense. Should not have even drawn it, honestly. But yeah, If you don't have these, get them all you can. Now, we do have a, a minute and a uh, minute, minute 50 remaining. I just got the other uh, warning from Instagram. So we will be wrapping up this part one of Manga Chat. Um, and, you know, I'll probably do a wee or something and come back and Me we'll too. start up the next one. Two minute break. Uh, yeah, so, you know, it's a great two minutes to go off and buy a copy of Gecko from Nate Garcia. You won't be missing anything here. This uh, scintillating hot chat. You can go off and buy a book on the toilet in uh, in confidence that we're also doing similar things. Um, yes. Not buying our own books, but maybe some other different books. And I'll do. Yeah. I'll make sure this is actually uh, working. Out. I won't just be egotistically uh, making fun of everybody that can't get one. Yeah, do a bit of maintenance on the store. My store seems to be running. Uh, yeah, We're doing all right, Josh. Uh, I think it's going to be a decent Christmas now. A bit worried there for a moment, but uh, as we always are, I think it's doom and gloom, uh, you and me sometimes. <laughs> we're quite positive. But, you know. no, we're pro yeah, absolutely. Just uh, Life is good. I remember we were, start we were trying to be so positive, and Jack in the car kept on saying that the books didn't arrive. And you were like, stop saying that. We know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you got to stay up. You know, it's been a, a lovely time at Burnett Sandwich. Thank you, Keenan, for uh, organising it. 
Yeah, yeah James, thanks, Tom, Keenan. Tom got the coof and, uh, and couldn't come. Um, that was a shame. One of the other organisers, Tom Neely, got struck down. I thought I by... saw him. I was some other no, guy. No, he had, he had COVID and monkeypox. Um, it's ooh. killing out here. They get, it's ravaging they get, the draw a, they get to draw a Chuck E. Cheese in this big uh, half-page splash now. So there's a half-page nice. Chuck E. Cheese splash. Yeah, do a bit of image uh, search on that. You gonna do the animatronics, all of them? Uh, probably, yeah. I gotta do some interior. <coughs> <coughs> all right, back. Maybe chat part two got cut off there. If you're watching on YouTube, there was a weird cut there. We got cut off. I got like, excited about what we were talking about. I forgot. And they're like, ah, oh, it's cut off. All right, Nate and, uh, and Josh should be back any second. I'm just doing some drawing here. I'm currently doing a Google image search for Chuck E. Cheese, the children's food restaurant, because I need to draw one. I need to know what it looks like, because my memory's not, I don't, I don't have a photographic memory. Cheese previously, if that's on the, on the, the podcast, YouTube, whatever this is. So it does Chuck E. Cheese, you know, is that short for Charles Entertainment Cheese? Oh, hey, uh, Josh, how you doing? What's going on? Hey, we just just setting up. Oh, sorry. What's that? Oh, we discussed previously, didn't we, about Chuck E. Cheese, if it's Charles Entertainment Cheese? Yeah, yeah. I figured it well, must be. It must be. That, I think that was the consensus. Anyway, sorry, what were you talking about? I'm just setting up the next page of colour, and it's a nice one because it's mostly close-ups. Nice. Yeah. You know, I sent you some pages and some pencils for the new pages the other day, and your main comment was like, oh, lots of close-ups. Easy work for me. Yeah, I mean, you just like, you know, you just colour in, you can just like paint bucket the person and a door behind them, and you don't have to worry about rocks on the ground. And well, I mean, some of them like that. Like colour, and there were like seven characters in a panel with lots of piles of felt hats and like props and... You know, everyone was in Halloween costumes, so it's a little detail. I will say, uh, Al's costume is <laughs> it's time consuming, but it's fine. Yeah, uh, so what, what, what is it the, the bottom part or the or what? what uh... No, it's just like uh, copy and paste and all the because that because it's like uh, one, two, three, four. It's just a bunch of different colours. And sometimes I have to like fill the little gaps on the circles and But it's yeah, fine. I don't know how you do it, you computer wizard. Yeah. It it reeks What's up, Nate? one fish. Josh, what was that? I, sorry to, I didn't mean to cut you off of uh, complaining about your work that you're getting paid money for. <laughs> what do you mean complaining about the easiest job I've ever had in my life yeah, and the yeah. most like the most uh, like spiritually rewarding and like uh, <laughs> the least physically taxing that job that I'm complaining about yeah <laughs> yeah Josh would you rather be eating fries as you serve them to fatties uh, on the, in the restaurant instead of coloring all these little small dots on a, on a of course not dress? I'm not complaining <laughs> I'm just pointing out that it does some of these little circles have taken longer than I thought, but I'm still on like a three page a day uh, momentum. <laughs> Sometimes it's really going. hard. It's really yeah. hard. I know. <laughs> we we are very privileged that we get to do this yeah, yeah. job. I, not lost on me. This is a decent job, but sometimes it is a bit of a bitch. You know, every job's a bitch. You get tired, your hand gets sore. It's tedious, laborious. Yeah. But yeah. I keep burning myself on this candle. I'm trying to make it smell nice in here because it reeks of fish. But that's my fault. Well, hi, Ben. A roommate. Reeks of fish. Yeah, yeah. It's just because I'm trying to make some dinner soon. And from when I made breakfast, which was the same thing, it still smells. In the morning time, I've sold about two prints. These people are really freaked out. They must be really freaked out of this, of this stuff because it's just not commercial. It's not commercially viable to sell this kind of thing. I should not even be complaining. 
What's that? No one wants your prints. What? No, I say I've sold two. This must not oh, be two. commercially viable. Well, yeah, you should be selling more than two. These are hot prints signed by Nate Garcia. In addition to 50. Hot young up-and-comer sitting around in a, an apartment eating bags of old fish. <laughs> you know, come on. Buy his fucking prints, you simps. Get simping. This is like... You do it for your OnlyFans girls, don't you? Is that why you're not buying them? Because you gave all your money to the OnlyFans girls? Probably. Yeah, they're not, they're not going to fuck you, bro. They've all got boyfriends. They've all got muscle yeah. man boyfriends. Big greased cauliflower jocks. Give your money we want to be able to stop too. calling them fish bags, Garcia. <laughs> it's lemon. It's zesty lemon fish bag to you. Fish bag, oh. Garcia. Uh, in, 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 in seriousness, this is actually really delicious stuff, though. I really actually love it. Simon, yeah, what's going sure on? It is. I would, uh... that. Are, are you having? Are we giving you a brain hemorrhage? What's the deal? Me? I would cut up a uh, like cut up a stick of celery and stick it on them to g give it a crunch. Yes, I would. Yes, I, I like to do the celery. I'll do hot sauce and mayonnaise mixed. But I don't have any mayonnaise right now. But Simon, what's going on? You sad? No, I'm very happy. Oh. You keep, going like, you keep going like this, putting your head in your hands. It's like too much for you. Is it, is it, is oh, it I was, I was giving laughing. In? It was an expression of just uh, funniness. I just, oh. I, I'm amused by these fish bags <laughs> and it's print sales. I just yeah. want people to buy your prints. Oh, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. There'll be, there'll be proper books soon. You know, there was going to be a book um, in October, but uh, as, as infamously said multiple times it has been scrapped well your long time temporarily viewers well, long time viewers will know about uh, the plum pocket saga you can the go saga. back and watch old episodes of manga chat uh check out what the alex graham episode or the graham bubbles one is probably where we talk about it but uh yeah yeah go and watch all of our episodes on youtube hit the bell for notification like and subscribe all that jazz fantastic yeah, and make sure you get the Wheel of Jones and Sons. It's just out today. How many have you got left now? Oh, let's have a look. Yeah, anyway, we're going to have a guest today. But I forgot to ask Anna Highfish. Uh, what was it? We were going to have Anna on after Thanksgiving, but then we were all too hungover. We didn't do it. That. And the next week, Anna had a, an engagement. And she's here doing a big residency at this big mansion in the Palisades. Um but yeah, and this week I forgot. Um, <coughs> so I'm sick, frankly, and uh, a lot of work on. I could have asked her yesterday, like, can you do it tomorrow? But I thought that would have been a bit rude. So I figured, like, next week. And then we did try and get Jasper Juvenville. We thought, well, we can be rude to him. Um, less respect for him, I suppose. Um, 552. He no, he couldn't do it. He had a prior engagement. That's okay. The family Is business it? to attend to. Yeah, I don't know so, if it's all right. Piss me off. You can't say, hey, grandma, go fuck yourself. i got to do manga chat. Right. So uh, less than 250 left. So if you're, if you're waiting until the end of the stream to buy it, I wouldn't. Oh, there's, there's only... Well, I put 750 up because i got to keep 50 for, like, you know, ones that get lost in the mail or ones that yeah. get damaged by horrible post people. You know, you got to save a few. I don't know how many. I was going to put 800. Because there's, there's 14 boxes that say, all say 60. That, the math on that is a bit over. But So, oh, yeah, you did 800, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think there's a few extra. Or, I don't know. But anyway, to be safe, I wasn't going to count them all. I'm not going to sit there like one, two, three, seven hundred and forty, seven, seven hundred and forty. I wasn't going to fuck fucking Forrest Gump and count them all. So, 750 to be safe. And then we'll have a few extra to keep for us, for our archives. and to Yeah, yeah. Sell it at Zine Fair in the future. Um, yeah, you're going to have to come out next week. We're going to have to ship these. That's the next part. It's exciting. Like, oh, look, we've made a bit of money and the books are selling. We're not... It's going to be a fun day. Out. Well, kind of. It's going to be a repetitive back strain day. Um, <laughs> you know, hopefully we can get it all done by the end of the day and like, slam dunk it all off at the post office and Got to go to a different post office this time because last time I turned up this tiny hole in the wall post office and gave them like, you know, eight mail tubs of fucking packages and uh, I think they're a bit like terrified and overwhelmed and too polite to tell me to fuck off. But we, yeah, we'll go to the bigger one next time. 
Yeah, hopefully I don't have COVID, Josh, because if you, you need to come out and help me with these packages, I can't do it alone. It's a team effort kind of thing, but I, I'm, I'll t- do another test, obviously. But I think it's just a cold. Yeah, yeah. So someone in the family does have COVID, so, uh, you know. Oh, no. Like, like, oh, shit, you know, I don't want to get COVID again. Um, I'm not scared of anything. I'm not a pussy, so, I mean, you know, I don't give a fuck, really. But I don't want my baby to get it. That's the main thing. I don't give a fuck about me getting it. Last time I just like a chew sneezed a little bit, like you know, big fucking deal. But you know, you don't want to see your baby with a hundred and four degree uh, fever. It's uh, it's not fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's sad as what no, it is. Yeah. It's horrible. Oh, it's brutally depressing. There's nothing funny about it at all. Um, yeah, one hundred ninety eight books in stock. Look at that. Damn. Better hurry up before these eBay scalpers all come in and get them. Oof. Oh, good times. What a hot sale. It's the magic of comics. Just keep hey, young, all those young cartoonists that are watching this. I know that Manga Chat's so popular with, with the young cartoonists looking for tips and tricks from veterans like me and hot newcomers like Nate who are succeeding wildly like a little salmon just flying upstream. I really hope I'm not the only young... It really is just a little salmon. <laughs> like if I wasn't... <laughs> In this, this would be the only thing I watch. I'm so, I, I would hope that there's other people my age that enjoy this that are getting something out of it. I mean, my At God. least one or two other sickos. Um, but yeah, no, it's the, the joy of uh, succeeding a little bit and just, you know, yeah. we can pay the rent now and then we can make another book. Sustainability. That's what all young cartoonists should be aspiring to, just basic sustainability, you know. Yeah, don't listen to these losers on Twitter. Just, oh, it's so hard. Yeah, it is. It is hard work, but not in that way. Like they're just, you know, bitter failures. Uh, they maintain positivity, make some good friends, and make some fun stuff. Yeah, comedy with a capital C. People love it. People love comedy in these dire times. Yeah, there's yeah, some I mean, sadness and pathos in here, but there's a lot funny. of Nate, go Nate, that- riff. There's there's a lot of comics that are out there that are very experimental and very uh, avant garde, and I've noticed these people they get their egos about them, and they 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 get really mad that me and Jasper, as young and up and coming cartoonists, are not experimenting. But they don't understand the most experimental thing you can do is tell a goddamn story because nobody wants to do that. Oh, and see now I've gotten on my horse for two months. I've gotten on my high horse about this because it pisses me off. I walk into the pub on a Sunday for a Sunday meal and they offer me like, you know, a parfait glass full of a whipped bacon cream and like a, a carrot in the shape of a cock, you know, with a glass of sulfurous, you know, egg water. Or I can get some meat and potatoes with a bit of gravy. What am I going to get? It's a vegan gravy as well, Josh, but it tastes like it's not. I'm going to get the meat and potatoes, you know, have a good time. You know, are they going to play the, the football in the pub or are they going to play, you know, waiting on Godot or something or, you know, <laughs> yeah, come on, yeah, come on. This is you all I right about. here. You know what I'm talking about. You're picking up what I'm laying down. <coughs> all right, I found a good... Is there any, other, any, like, comics news, anything like that this week? I don't know. Uh, who Quite a nice article in the Comics Journal about Wig Shop. That was enjoyable to be mentioned yeah, multiple times. Good one. That's a good bring up. That's a quality bring up, Josh. I enjoyed that <laughs> article. It's nice to put a face to the name. I love Wig Shop. Yeah, yeah. Denver online. You know, if you love Domino, uh, that's another thing. If you love John P and the Spit and a Half, check out Wig Shop. A lovely America based online zine distributor. Just some madman, some nutter, who's decided to buy a bunch of weird books and sell them and make it a thing. He's like a businessman now. He, yeah, yeah. He gets good stuff. He imports those like new Charles Burns books from France, like the ones yeah. that aren't in English, frustratingly, but are in like Italian and French. Uh, we, we just have to wait for them. He's he has a lot those. of really good Japanese, like uh, weird uh, avant-garde painting zines too. Have gotten a lot from him. He was the first guy to ever um, retail sell uh, Horn Room, which is my very first old comics from the from when I was like seventeen. It's beautiful, crazy. He People used to been... sell Josh's pages, I think. Josh designed the little logo for the shop. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Holy shit, I forgot about that. I mean, I a see little Nancy time. wig. People are saying in the chat, I'm smoking tuna. Are you out of your mind? It's tobacco. It's not tuna. Smoking tuna. No, no, no. No, no, I don't do that. I don't really mess with that. I don't smoke fish. I eat it. I need it for for food and sustenance. I can't be doing that. That's a waste. Oh, yeah. What do you have for breakfast, Nate? Oh, yeah. I had this fucking <laughs> this on toast. I got two packs. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm messing? I'm not messing around. You're just really chain eating eat. bags of fish. Her permanent damage put me uh, all the all, put me fifty dollars. Uh, gave me the fifty dollars I needed to make my rent, so that in best case scenario, my bank balance is zero dollars until uh, until the next month. Buy his prints. Come on, he's not grubbing about. It. He's just saying how it is. But go and buy his prints. Yeah, I'm a, I'm I'm, I'm e begging with a with a cause here. I implore you, people. If you care about Manga Chat and you want us to produce more episodes, you know we can take this away from you. We don't have to do this each week. Yeah, the sixty-three people. We could turn this car around, you know. Yeah, cough the fuck up. Daddy's mad. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. Somebody just said this is stupid. <laughs> it's, yeah. It is Vit join. Vit call in. Oh my gosh, Vit Moretta. Yeah, we'd have Vit on as a guest. Oh my Vit gosh, Moretta we should have Vit on as a proper things. guest. That'd be so cool. Well, yeah, Vit would be befitting a proper guest status. She's been going yeah, through yeah, some yeah. times lately. She could use the pick me up, the morale boost. Vit, we're sending love. But yeah, no, that manga chat is stupid. I don't disagree with that person. I, I don't want any. I don't want any stands to go like crazy and start harassing that person and calling them stupid. Um, you know, we can, we're big boys. We can handle our critics. So, yeah, we agree with them. You know, we're not going to start a fight. You know. Yeah, it's low effort, uh, but it's 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 real and raw because we're busy making comic books all day. I mean, yeah. you can't be Howard Stern and Ernie Bushman at the same time. Mature young professionals. Your booze mean nothing. <coughs> oh, someone said my car said... is dead and I can't get into town to get cannabis. I'm sad. Life story? Didn't need it. Just kidding. But but uh, I hope you get that car fixed. That's, that's good that you're watching this. That's terrible. Hopefully a delivery service could deliver that cannabis maybe if you look around. Try the delivery service if you can. It depends what state you're in. Oh, God. There's something about that statement that sounds English, though. It's like uh, something like just car to go get cannabis, and it sounds it's not yeah. English. Yeah, it's cannabis. It does sound a bit English. Oh, I'm going to the car down to Dalston to get my cannabis. Yeah, yeah. I don't know anyone in America who calls it cannabis. No, it's a bit posh, isn't it? Maybe they're yeah, yeah. It's a medical yeah, term, though. Yeah, maybe a cop. Fucking the cops are out of fash. Trying to bust us. Hmm. Yeah. But uh, I mean, there's so many, there's so many anecdotes that are slipping my mind from this weekend. It was kind of, a, it was kind of a blurry, bit of a blurry haze. But I appreciate yeah, I think, Zach yeah, yeah. letting me stay at the house. So it was really, really kind and. Oh, um, lovely. You're, you're a great guest. I try, I try to be very a... courteous about that. So, uh, it was pissing down rain for about a week. It's been freezing here. And on Manga Chat, like, you know, Josh and I are both like in blankets freezing. But then Nate turned up in a pair of shorts and a T-shirt <laughs> at night. And it was freezing and pissing down rain, just whipping down rain. And, and Keenan all week on uh, – about permanent damage, I mean, saying, "Oh, I'm so scared of the rain. Like, please show up." And uh, I didn't read those emails. I didn't Nate check just that. didn't see any of this, and apparently was not paying any attention to Manga Chat or, or Josh and I at all. It doesn't even deign to look at us in our blankets. Got well, LA is like a movie to me. It's not real. So I thought it'd be summertime yeah. loving when I went down. It was not summertime loving at all. But yeah, but I sorted you out with some clothes, Nate. I dug into my collection of douchebag clothes and gave you some weird motocross uh, sweatpants and a, a did you see uh, Grant in the comments of the pictures noticing right away that they were your your clothes 
Oh yeah, he knew they were my douchebag clothes. <laughs> he was there when I bought them, probably. Uh, yeah. We would have been day drunk as fuck in a distal phalanx, this weird clothing store buying all these weird clothes. All cashed that out. That did make me laugh that he know that he spotted it right away. You bought this? Hmm? Were you in America when you bought this? No, in Australia. That's uh, so me and Grant, we were making all that album one aventura art sale money and we didn't know how to handle it. We just were buying all these crazy clothes and hanging out at all the weird fashion joints and stuff. Yeah. Speaking of, I'm in the market for some fresh new threads. Buy this. Oh. That's oh, right, Josh. Dude. We're going to get some brand new threads when you come into this East Coast city. I mean, I've said it already. I hate to be the one to spoil the surprise, but you are moving to Philadelphia, isn't that right? Possibly. Let's not... We'll talk about that at some, a different time. Yeah, oh, I, don't, I don't think he wants to talk about it. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. What I do actually, want to talk actually, about actually, is... Sorry, I didn't know that was a fucking thing. Though. Comics. Well, no, it's not a big thing. I just... Uh, I'll, I'll talk about it next time. Yeah, meanwhile, meanwhile, there's, like, so many people that are messaging Josh right now. You said we would hang out in a month. You said we would hang out next week. You're moving away? You're going to have to be responsible for all that, man. We'll see. Yet again, Josh, you are cleaning up the mess that I make, and that's why I like you, to keep you around. Uh, thank you to people that are buying these prints in the in the comments here. I feel like... Uh, are, you like are you selling prints, Nate? How many are you sold? Uh, I can't check, because so I, I don't have notifications on my phone. But... Uh, Someone said, bought coasters in a print, get some big boy food, Nate. Oh. Thank you. I still eat this fish, but I'll, uh, this it'll be warm. good for groceries. This, I need to just get this tomorrow. So, uh, this warms my heart. This is the magic, the magic of comics. The community coming together to trade money around for zines. Maybe Nate will buy one of your zines when you've only got bags of fish. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I, it sucks, though. Seriously, I haven't been able to buy any new anything because of that. Um, and I, I, I'm missing out on some really great comics from people I love. But if anybody's curious what I am drinking, this is not some kind of rich people drink. This is Panera Sip Club. If, the, if people don't know, $8.99 a month for free drinks every two hours at Panera Bread. This is what I get. And I keep them in my fridge. Right now I'm drinking... Here's a plug. A fuzzy... If you're, watching, if you're watching and you're in Sweden, or just in Europe in general... And you want to read the first Werewolf Jones zine in Swedish. Swedish. With a translation sheet go. attached. To the live stream plug, is it? Oh, there we go. What's that say? Look, it's backwards. Can't read it. That Grimace Yeah. I have. Get that Grimace Oh, that sounds nice. Uh, get that Grimace Vardat. Yeah, go yeah, find Doesn't Swedish it mean like the penis sword or something? What is it? The, the awesome sword, perhaps? Uh, I'm not oh. sure. I don't speak Swedish. Somebody says, why do I keep interrupting Nate? And I think it's because of a slight delay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe it's just because you view me as lesser of a human being. Maybe it's because I'm just a piece of meat to you, Josh. Is that what it is? Am I a piece of meat to you? I have, I, I mean, I have a brain, I have a body. I'm not just one, I'm not just one of your goddamn dungeon whores here. I have, a, I have a heart. Do you think I'm a dungeon whore? <laughs> yeah, Josh. Answer me. No, I, I'm trying to give you some space to talk, Nate. <laughs> okay, now. God, this is this is this is this is this is all coming to to the crumbling end here. Yeah, this friendship is crumbling. Yeah, this is like that Beatles documentary. Just these the big, long, just aimless. You can just tell it's all falling apart. It's all sad. <laughs> is that what that? Anymore. Is that what happens in that one? I haven't yeah. seen it. It's really it's like a bunch of personalities just clashing for 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 four hours. I actually what about really DVDs? Do we have any new DVDs? Me, Simon, you were going to say something about the Beatles. 
Oh, I just I really enjoyed that documentary just because it's I don't, I'm not I like the Beatles when I was a teenage stoner I like the Beatles you know I'm 40 I like the Beatles when I was younger of course I did but I'm not a massive Beatle head but I enjoyed that whole Peter Jackson thing just because it looked so crisp mainly just because I think I was just really exhausted because I was like my baby was not sleeping at the time and I watched it and I was really zonked out and uh, it just looked so crisp and it was like I was there with Ringo and the boys it just felt really immediate and it looked for something from the 70s or late 60s was it anyway yeah it just looked amazing I don't know for some reason I enjoyed it I really got into it and it gave me like weird Beatlemania for like three days and I kept on listening to the Beatles and stuff and it was lovely I love I really loved uh, Peter Jackson's World War One restoration film <laughs> I've heard that's good. Yeah, I haven't watched it. Amazing. Yeah. I haven't seen that one. I don't like to remember the war because it brings back a lot of, like, really strange memories for me whenever I was fighting in the war. So, like, seeing that kind of stuff is, like, really hard for me to watch. It's, like, really hard. I don't... I, 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 I stay away from that. It's too much. It sends me into a deep spiral and emotional... I remember all these people I was friends with in the war that I would see die. Like, I saw them die in front of my eyes. I saw my wife die. So, I really you, don't... Was she doing that? Uh, she, was a, she was a medic. That was, okay. uh, it, was, it was medic. Her name was uh, Almeida Maru. She was the best, man. She would clean up all these wounds, and she would cook up the best pizza fries on the war. People don't understand Nate, I, pizza fries. Nate, I... I've asked you not to talk about your past lives on the show repeatedly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I try to do it behind the scenes, but I have repeatedly asked you to not talk about your past lives on the show. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll it's talk about better. this later. Let's just move on. I just will talk about this later, okay? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It can You're be fucking ice, against buddy. my will. You're on thin fucking ice. Just fucking move on. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm a, uh, 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 she was just, she was everything, you know, she was, she was, she no one cares about your war wife. No one cares about your war wife. Yeah. I'll let it go. Uh, show about manga, not your past lives. I think it's just because it got you in trouble that one, one time, one time it got you in trouble once with immigration, but it's not a big deal. We'll talk about this later. We'll talk about it later. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's, Anything uh, else you needed to plug, Josh? Let's have a look at the book sales numbers. <laughs> Here we go. 609. 609 on the big one. Got 141 remaining. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Get your we are getting to crunch time. Before the scalpers get them. I think people are really gonna like this one. This one is really like, um, I, really? I would call this relentless. This this comic is relentless. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's a good endorsement. Relentless. Yeah. It is pretty hardcore. Uh, in in, in, in tasteful hardcore. ways, it, it it doesn't use shock to like. Uh, it, it's not tasteless. It's very 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 nice. Uh, oh, very good. You got the heart of it. You got the sadness of it. My favorite line was uh, one of Josh's lines where he's like, um, oh, we, we can't we can't take a shower. The water's brown again and flammable. Oh, yeah, yeah. You Maybe could tell like, it was probably autobiographical. Yeah, it comes <laughs> from a real place. No, I was thinking about that fracking documentary. Oh, man. Which one was that? I did not see that. Yeah, Gasland. Hmm. Anti-fracking propaganda. No, but some people's is. Yeah. Uh, I've been trying to get some fracking going for years. You know, that RuPaul does it and stuff. It seems cool. Yeah. I've been trying to buy some land to frack on. Get my, get my frack on. Uh, we'll see. We'll get there. You know, if we sell enough books today, some of the money from today's sales will probably go into my uh, fracking uh, adventures. So, yeah, I really don't buy know what fracking books. is. <laughs> Nor do I really. I think it's just like deep oil drilling or something, and like it can destabilize land. It's not good, apparently. You know, it's taking the natural grease from the plates of the earth, and more earthquakes will happen. Cave ins, don't know. 
Yes, yeah, so I'm not really for anyone who's a bit dull and is watching. It was like, oh my god, Simon had someone endorses fracking. Like it, that was that was a joke. Uh, that was just me being silly. People, I notice people don't really can't really tell when we're joking sometimes, and like they think like they 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 take these things so serious, and it, I'm realizing the power of the of the voice, and uh, oh yeah, you know that like. It's all jokes. We're just we could easily a... start a cult. I mean, we just have to buy a plot of land and, like, you know, get a few people there and, you know, buy some firearms. You and me and Josh, we could easily pull our money and start a cult and we could have people like, in a few years, like, serving as, like, you know, big palm leaves, like, concubines, um, you know, could really you know, mess with some people's minds. It wouldn't, it's not that hard. It really isn't. It, it would... wouldn't be a bad cult like the uh, the Jonestown one. That would be a good one, like uh, Jared Leto's one, right? <laughs> yes, it would be a good one. It would be like the Ezra Miller one. It would be a great one. It would be okay. great. It would be amazing. Uh, I've already have, I've already had lists writ written for this where we would do like a we'll sit in the field, three of us, grape juice, one bottle, pass it around, no talking for three hours, and then we talk for three hours straight, then we go home. But I already, I already. Proposed. Yeah, cut, sorry, Nate. Carry on. Yeah, don't cut him off. I already proposed that we do that, but we we didn't end up doing it. So we'll, have, we'll when the cult does finally drop, we will uh, sit in that field. I think with the grape juice. I think mandatory those flowy trousers that people wear when they go on vacation to Thailand. Oh, hundred percent. I'm not wearing tight trousers. I'm not. I can't wear <laughs> some tight trousers. But yeah, you know, we could start looking for land. Uh, like I said, it's it's not it's not hard to you know people are very malleable at their core, really. Anyway, <laughs> three thirty-three. We've still got like twenty-seven minutes left. Uh, what, complete... what, what's everyone working on? What, what was that, Nate? I was saying it's completely pitch black over there. It's like three o'clock at your house. It's completely pitch black here. Is my Christmas well, lights? You know. Jeez, I've colored one page so far, and I'm hoping to uh, color two more by the end of the day. That sounds yeah, good. Josh, sounds good. I'll send you that um, colored test page tonight in like an hour or so once this is wrapped up, um, and you'll see if it's good enough. I mean, it's it'll, it'll be nice. Oh, you got the KFC bucket. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to see this, Nate. Uh, to see your your coloring on top of this shit, mm. and, and you will be paid for your efforts. Oh my gosh! If I can get like five yeah. to ten bucks, it'd be great. That'd be great. Be a little bit more than that, perhaps. But yeah, it's, it's just great to have the help. I think Josh and I are both are very excited. Uh, We're both like that drowning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Mr. Reynolds will be happy, often late with my books. I was probably expecting another late one, but no. With a little bit of child labor, we'll, we'll get it done on time, Josh. Jan January is good, though. What have you got left? Like, you've got to ink those ones that you're doing now, or, or, or rather pencil them. And, uh, hey, if yeah. worse comes to what, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, Nate. I keep interrupting. They are right. I keep interrupting. You know what I think it is? It's because I'm, I'm doing it on a headphone today, which I don't normally do. And oh, so everything's it's, just it's a bit... Out of your ass. I like that. Everything's <laughs> a bit wonky. Yeah. No, I, I, don't, I don't care if you... It, it's usually... I'm usually just filling, this, filling the void anyway. If you're talking, just talk. <laughs> Fishbag Garcia with his uh, dead air destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, that's what they call me, the dead air destroyer. You know what they actually used to call me in high school, though? This is a story. This is good. I would I would take the uh, short bus to school every day because my parents made me go to this art high school. I'm serious. I did not want to, I'm going to put it on the record here. I did not want to go to that school. It was this charter school that they that there was um, – it was 40-minute drive from my house. It didn't cost any money, but it was like – for like art, I was like art kids, and there was like theater, there was dance. It was horrific, horrific. And I, I had to go there, and um, I took the short bus every day because they didn't have enough buses, or they didn't have enough kids for the full bus. And 
I would fall asleep because it was 40 minutes. I had to wake up at like 5 a.m. every single day. And I would fall asleep on the seat and I'd fall into the aisle every morning. And I didn't find out until a year later on the next year when I got on a different bus and I found my one friend from the old bus and she said, oh my gosh, I remember you. They used to call you Thumper. I said, Thumper? <laughs> because I kept falling and thumping, uh, making a thumping noise when I fell into the aisles. And uh, it stuck with me and I left that school. Uh, but my, my, my dad was very adamant that I go to it because of drawing and it did not help any kind of abilities. I still... They, 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 they try to make me draw all these cups. They try to make me draw all of these circle templates where it would be like a, they, it'd be how to draw a perfect circle and it would be like a, you'd have to do square with all these diagonal lines to make a circle. It was like, um, it was pretty bad stuff. Um, I think Josh's phone just fucking passed away. Oh God, really? Look at him. Gosh. It's crumbling. It's really crumbling. Oh, and we're back to to the the double. Yeah, it's that time of the day where Josh just drops out. It's becoming a tradition, I think. I think yeah. it's all for... Or he just fucks always oh, like, I'm fucking off down the pub for a pint. And he just, you know, he pretends, oh, no, my Google Pixel shit out on me. Oh, no. Yeah, he's just getting wine or something, having a smoke or something. Yeah, that's enough for me. <laughs> yeah, he's dumb. Yeah, maybe maybe this weekend we really pissed him off. Like maybe like he's done. Yeah, yeah, he's like, yeah. I, I did one more episode just to fulfill my contracts because you know I made you guys put do contracts and stuff. Very professional. Over yeah. here at Manga Chat. Yeah, he's he's just done. Contracts up. Fuck off. <laughs> Gotta do my own, you know, chat. Two thousand AD chat. Oh, that'd be a good. That would be a really good title. Yeah, heavy metal chat. What, what's the most British comics you can think of? Beano chat. Oh, um, yeah, Prince Josh Valentine Penger. Chat. Yeah, Beano chat. Punch chat. Oh, that's in poor taste, that one. <laughs> what? what? It's a British comedy annual. What are you mean? Oh. I thought you were just talking about Josh punching people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Josh's phone died. Yeah, right. How you typing? Lame excuse. How you talking? Is he in here? Yeah, he said phone died. Thanks, Josh. Yeah. Josh is yeah. the type of friend. Oh, he'll call you and say, hey, man, my phone's not working. I can't hang out. And then he'll hang up. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. We know what he's up to. Yeah, we know. He's getting that wine. Because he knows when he gulps it, all his problems go away. <laughs> Oh, we need to do an intervention. It's 3.39 p.m., Josh. Please, just wait until 5 at least. <laughs> yeah, it's 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. We've got straight. deadlines. We've got deadlines. Yeah, I know. I know oh. that. I was going um, to get drunk today, but I can't, I can't be doing that either. There's too much, too much to do. Yeah. It's well, not what, are you, what are you working on? What are you working on? What, what do you got too much to do on? What are you doing? I'm finishing this CD and I'm finishing up uh, the Ooh. writing for this new book. Like I said last night, it was like pouring out of me like such a nice, it was so nice to get back to that. Because it's, it's been a while since I've written from scratch. You know, like sometimes you have like a, like a, a backlog of stuff that you're making into real comics. And then you, there's like a, a transitional period where you have to actually re, you have to start from scratch and do a bunch of thumbnails. I did that. And uh, and I'm feeling I'm feeling good good again. I realize the the emptiness I feel most days is when I'm not working on a new comic or something. And so uh, maybe that's not a good thing. But no, it helps with the blues. Uh, yeah, I, maybe it's not a good thing. But I, I feel you. I'm always happiest when I'm working. Yeah, it chases the blues away. Yeah, I mean productive. It, it, it's very productive. It keeps me out. It keeps me out of the streets. I could be in the streets right now. I mean, I wasn't. I was in the streets earlier, but it's keeping me out of the streets now. And I'm staying indoors. I got. I got my candle, and I got my Alf DVDs. I got my records. I got this. I got this. I got this record um, here called Undercurrent by Bill Evans and Jim Hall. Does anybody know this? 
No, this is one of my favorite it. records of all Ooh, time. Lovely cover. 1962. This is actually the UK version. The the American version is brown. It's like a sepia black and white picture. This is the blue one. And I actually really, I Love like that. the blue one a lot better. She's just floating there. Look at that. She's dead. She's drowning. She can't even breathe underwater. She's dead. So I'm it's assuming it's like upbeat, uh, upbeat, upbeat trumpet music, is it? It's, uh, no, it's pianos. It's like, it's like, it's piano and guitar, so it's like, boom, 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 It's very, it's very nice. It's very nice. That's quite, that's quite lovely. My, my roommate Ben just came into the room here. Sorry, guys. And, uh, he's, he's very, a very soft-spoken very gentleman. He likes Ubers, but this is him. What's up? Oh, hello. It's a really casual one today. Josh is dead. Very casual. Yeah. Jason's birthday. Well, have fun, Benny. See you. See you later, Benny. Um, yeah. Well, you'll be back, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll probably be back. All right. Bye, Benny. Love you, pal. Bye, bye. Love you too. This is what we say to people. That's with nice. Platonic. That's nice. That's lovely. Yeah. I mean, he'll still leave this can the the can of dried tin foils, but I still love him deep down. <laughs> You gotta have some crazy roommate stories, Simon. I mean, you've probably put them all in, into the books, but um... yeah, mostly I guess the the Christian guys and uh, uh, the girl who stole some money and Whoa. She st stole her boyfriend's porno, and then she was showing it to everyone. Like she kind of wanted going around town and like showing it to people, and they were kind of like, I don't want to see this. Like, like, she was an interesting girl. Yeah. Oh I, I, I had a crush on her. My, my friend and I, when I was 15, both met her in this like little coastal beach town. And uh, and he, he got with her or whatever. And I had to go and buy condoms for him. I, I had to go into the chemist and he was too wussy. He like waited outside with her. And I, I went in and purchased the prophylactics and then said, here you go. And gave them to my friend to, to bang the girl, to lose his virginity to the girl that I had a crush on also. And I was well, you like, you don't, even, you don't even deserve this. I bought the prophylactics. I'm you should have just man. kept them. <laughs> Give him some like little water balloons. Or, oh, yeah, buy the extra small ones. I bought extra small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah that's, that's a horrible yeah. story. Well, what, you guys still Facebook friends? What's going on with her? No, I haven't talked to her for years. She was, she was my roommate years later. Like, I know many years later. And still friends with the, the, the boy in the picture, the young my young friend uh we, we we still talk not for a while but we'll email every like year or so and get back in touch he, he's been my friend since i was like seven a vicious bully he used to viciously bully me but then we became friends and then he would viciously bully me again but then we'd be friends again and but he's a nice guy um yeah i don't know what happened to her um she was a character she's probably doing something somewhere making some crazy art or something or doing something yeah maybe yeah. making some some blanket hats or something like that. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, yeah. That's usually that's usually the trajectory that happens. The what? That's usually the trajectory it goes on. And it goes uh, uh, from squalor to blanket hats usually. Well, big time, yeah. Well, you can make a lot of money on Etsy with blanket hats. I mean, you know, I've, I'm, you know. Right now, I'm I'm here, like uh, partially wearing a blanket as a hat, um, trying to keep warm. So if you can combine some sort of snug hat kind of apparatus with like a tail, like those legionnaires <laughs> protect you from the sun, but like a blanket hat. I mean, yeah, that's a good idea. Being yeah, no, a roommate, so I don't I don't miss him. Uh, I've had you know this, this roommate once. She was like a friend of mine passed away, um, an overdose, and I was, I was very upset. You know. I was in the, Maybe it was rude of me to be in the living room weeping, but uh, she was uh, walking around laughing in the living room behind me and just like looking out the windows and just doing her own thing. And while I was like weeping on the couch, like, my friend's dead. And she was like, ah. <laughs> and just like looking out the window and just walking around the room. And it was a bit odd, but maybe I was the rude one for crying in the living room. And she was like, kind of like, ah. Yeah, it's a bit rude. Like maybe it's a bit attention room. seeking. It seems like you just want the attention if you're just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time is I'm, I'm, you want I'm, them yeah. to say something. I'm looking at it in the rearview mirror with a bit of hindsight and now I'm thinking that actually she was in the right and she was boldly making a point that 
you should be happy and laughing in the living room, not publicly weeping, and it might be uncomfortable for your flatmates. So yeah, I was the asshole there. Um, I, uh, yeah. I, I recently I had that same exact thing in this futon here. If people want to see this right now, my futon. This is where I was crying the other week, uh, and um, we have the over. guitars there. You're crying on the futon, and it's like a bit of composing some sad songs. <laughs> that's a bad placement. No, that that's my roommate's guitar. I I, I don't cry and weep, or I, I don't I don't weep and play guitar. It's lame, but. Um, <coughs> No, I, I, we were having some people over, our friends, and I was in the. It was one of the worst days of my of my life. I was just sitting there, like trying to draw. I was drawing your um, portrait for Jack, the last week, and I was just start. I just had this uncontrollable sadness. I was just like, oh my gosh, it was so bad, and I was just it's horrible was sitting there weeping, and like they like they were all there, like like five people like smoking weed in my by my window. And I just had to go in my room and just like let it all out. It was bad. Nobody was laughing at me though, but I I felt like they should have been because it was it was just like it was just a scene. It was a scene with no with no words. I was just causing a, a silent like wet sad scene, and it was very 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 embarrassing. And it's in my house too, so I can't just be like like leave, you know. But it was. It was well, yeah, your, your your roommate seems like a nice uh, respectful guy. Uh. So I don't, I don't think anyone would have judged you. They sound like a supportive crew. I hope so. Uh, well, it's not He's well, yeah, yeah. He's supportive. He works in the he works in the medical field of, as a, at, at the pharmacy. So he deals oh, with yeah. a lot of crazy people. So he can handle me from time to time. It's usually yeah, I'm the easy. one that's got to come or he's got to come for me. I'm, uh, he doesn't really cry too much. Like a happy-go-lucky kind of chap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming he's listening now on his way to wherever he was going. Oh my gosh, that's nice. the rest of the stream. He must be listening. So he seems like a really nice chat. <laughs> jo uh, yeah, yeah. He, he's he's met Josh one time on the phone, and uh, it was uh, it was it was a great. Um, I'm back now. He met Josh yeah, on the phone. Yeah. He's never met you before. It's just the first time. So yeah, if he is watching, he's great. We got some really interesting I, 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 people watching this. I mean, met him briefly. I mean, he just seems like a really great guy. <laughs> yeah. We got so Ramon, be doing some... Lobo's watching, and I thought, I thought he had better... You do? Do like, you have a line to draw for DC or something? Doesn't he have a line that, that with, with sneakers to draw and a really... And, uh, I don't know. I thought I'm surprised to Wait, see him. Is he really watching? Or are you just Yeah. Watching? No, he's here. Isn't he like a rival podcaster? Uh, I've never heard of his podcast. Does he have one? Doesn't have a podcast? I don't know. I just know. Isn't he associated with the Gutter Boys or something? Or don't they well, argue about lines. things on Discord or something? I don't know. I don't do all this Discord, uh, Twitter stuff. Mm. Who knows? Who knows? He had, he, he, had, he, had a, he had a very interesting joke about zoo workers that one time that I thought was targeted at me. And I can't, I can't say. I can't say if it was about me, but... It seems very targeted. It was about zoo workers getting too much too soon. Is that me? I don't know. I did work at the zoo. Maybe I'm, I don't know. But I remember that joke. It stuck with me. I remember these jokes. They stick. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, it's a rough place, the old internet. Ramon Villa Lobos prowling around. Yeah. Being a dark back alley. Shadows popping out. It does. I don't feel relaxed. No, the, the, internet. the internet can be a real double-edged spoon sometimes. Like sometimes it's really overwhelming, and I mean, this is we're getting we're getting into um, we're getting into real philosophical territory like we did last time. Yeah, but, we need Josh to keep us grounded. His cool, calm, stiff British upper lip it just grounds us. But without him, we just crumble. Our brains rot like cheese, like Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the internet anyway. is very boring because you just wake up one day and you see like someone that someone like I don't know talking about your 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 work and and uh, I don't know it can be it can be a lot sometimes but yeah it's great though you know I'm on an up now Whoa, I suddenly like went on an up like wow we've got a TV show name like you mean Josh we're like stars like you know like. 
stars like content pr producers content providers and like we entertain people every week like and people, oh, like, buy, like co coasters like we like provide their drinks with like protection against like ring stains yeah like, you know it really you know really gets me all hot and bothered and jolly like I just feel great yeah it, selling it, books it, like entertainment you know yeah it's exhilarating because you do need you do need yeah. some yeah. other way to promote paper media who's for, first of all 2022 who gives a fuck about a stapled piece of paper probably nobody cunts but we've got to we've got to be accessible uh so 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 people can hear about these things and not just skip through it when they read it i mean they can skip through a video of people talking about it. it's a little bit more difficult this yeah it's just a way. movement you know we're on a, a youtube hashtag alt comics gate you know like it's cool it's like a movement you know we've got to like take down all the journalists and stuff you know it's a, it's a movement <laughs> you know you know i i i i, I do agree here Let's, i will yeah, say join we'll us for, our, for the dark roast next week we're going to be doing the dark secret dark roast to uh indiegogo subscribers only oh my gosh yep subscribe on indiegogo subscribe on um on uh yeah. truth social Subscribe on, on Uber. Social. We're on Gab. We're on Minds. We're on Getter. We're on Parler. We're on everywhere Monkey. you can. What was that? Yeah, what's it called? What's the new one? Um, um, uh, Spank Bang. Yeah, we're on Spank Bang. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're on That's Toss probably. Waffles. Uh, Chatterbait. Yeah, yeah, we're on that one. We're on all the big apps. Yeah, Mega Chat we're After on, Hours. Chatterbait. Minotaur is that one. Mastodon is there was that the one? Don't know. <coughs> yeah, yeah, make sure you give us a like and a follow on all the platforms. Yeah. We're just here to entertain. Yeah, buy our paper books. Don't forget to get Nate's horse prints. Where did they go? It's on the wall over there, isn't it? Look at that. There it is. Right there. It's on the wall, that erotic horse print. Yeah. Yeah, please buy these for everybody. I mean, I spent so much time I mean, you don't have to, but my God, it's so hot. How would you not want that on your wall? Even it's though it's scared away most of the people. Edition of 50. This is number 13. It's signed. It's got little stickers on it as well. Yes. And yes, yes. On each, on each and every one of them. Yeah. yeah well, we'll do a blast on the, on the stories later as well. I'll tell everyone to go get the prints. And this, so uh, these are going fast. Oh my gosh! What are the, what's what's left? Like four of them? Oh, let's have a look. This is great stuff, everybody. You're crazy if you miss out on this, and you know you're going to be missing out on this. Oh, you have to be mad, wouldn't you? Oh, Six thirty-nine. This hundred. I don't know. There's, there's some left. They'll last for a couple of hours. It's petered out now. There's, there's six hundred and thirty-nine super fans who can't live without it. Have already ordered it. So now there's a hundred and so left for you. Johnny come lately, and people who were too hungover and slept in and like, oh no, my I slept through my alarm for the new Josh Pettinger Simon Hans woman zine. Cannot do that. Ah. Yeah, you you gotta try not to do that. Anyway. We've only got five minutes or so left, Nate, I think. Six minutes. You're gonna do your writing tonight to meet your bag of fish? Yes. Uh it'll be uh, uh penciling tonight and then I'll have Ooh. fish as a uh, as an incentive to get through, I want to get through uh, at least three pages if possible. Well, but it's true. There's a really hot breakup scene to start off. It's uh, it's in a pumpkin patch. It's very dirty stuff. Pumpkin patch. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've seen pumpkin patches recently. I know. I really have been. I, it's just it's like I sometimes you see the pumpkin patch in somebody's eyes. You know what I mean? You see when you see the pumpkin patch in someone's eyes, like you like it means you love them. I think. I mean, you probably see the pumpkin patch in Jack's eyes. You know. A hundred percent. Hundred percent. Does she care that you get all mashy before these streams? Does she? Does she really care? I mean, did Dick Cavett's wife care when he would get mashed? Of course up? not. No, they understand. Yeah. You know, Dick had to do his streams. You know. We've all got to do our streams. Oh my gosh, I know. Don't, don't, important. I... don't you know, indeed. Yeah, I, 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 this so... is full sobriety for this one because of, 
I was out. I was out and about getting my scoring my inebriation fuel, and I needed to get back soon. And there was no. There was no time. No time for fooling around with drugs. No time. Of course, of course not. It's straight edge over here at the uh, Manga Chat HQ. Yeah, no, yeah, I guess we can close off and show off my, my kneecaps because for the people that didn't get to come to Permanent Damage, they didn't get to see my kneecaps. These are the shorts I did come in uh, in Los Angeles here, thinking that it would be <laughs> summertime loving all the way through. And it was not summertime loving all the way through. It was ice cold. It was frosty yeah. snow, man. Wintry nightmare. Yeah. So this Probably is all the stuff you're missing. Nice hoodie out of the deal. Yes, thank you for that. I wore it two days straight afterwards, uh, and it smells real bad now. I don't even know how to wash that thing, to be honest with you. Throw it in the washing machine. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't matter that it's embroidered at all? Ah, it's got a bit of stitching on it, but it'll just, you know, it'll just wash, you know. Yeah. Well, that's good to Can't know. be too prudish about these things. Just wear them until they fall apart, and, you know. Yeah, I, I, I've never had a, a hoodie so fancy like that. It's great stuff. I'm so happy about it. Yeah, you gotta keep you warm. Can't have you freezing your tits off. No. Oh, man. What a good one today. Another one in the books. Thanks for everybody who watched. Yeah, I don't know how much time we got left here. But... Don't remember anything we talked about, really. I don't know. It's rambling. I don't know. It's manga chat. We just have a good old ramble. Well, yeah. I think it's great. I think it's what people like. Or not. Or maybe they fucking hate it and they 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 see they're oh they're really doing this again. When are they gonna know? Yeah. Who gives a fuck? Nobody cares. It is up in the comments, YouTube. Uh, you know, people that are watching this on YouTube after the fact, uh, let us know. Do you want us to have more structure? Would you like us to have more guests on, more varied guests, not just people that we're friends with, perhaps strangers that we could be more awkward with and a bit more academic and boring? Do you want that, Ugh. or do you want? Are you happy with oh. just the rambling and the, the adverts for our own stuff? Uh, a bit of shit talk sometimes, some veiled comments. Uh, yeah, let us know what you want, what you want us to do. Do you want us to be more like kayfabe and just look at old issues of wizard? Do you want us to be like Noah about Skyver and have sort of dry conversations with people? And, you know, what, what do you want? You know, we can probably give it to you to try. Um, oh, oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, it's mostly just disconnected... Uh, memories and and anecdotes that are that are lost in in time. I mean, so much stuff happened. I just don't even remember. I, I, but uh, I was gonna make notes and look where we are. No notes. I was lost in the train, on fire. Yeah, if you could stay after for a little bit today, Nate, we have to talk about his past lives business. Um, oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, just when everyone's gone in a few minutes, if you could stay after, I need to talk to you. <laughs> I can't. I, I I get carried away with those past lives sometimes. It just. I just don't want the show. Back. Look, I just don't want the show to be too new age. Yeah. I, I've always said. I've always said. You can go back years in interviews. I've always said. I never want to do a new age podcast. No! 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 This is this. This is not new age at all. We're keeping it not new age. Just need you to be a little bit more respectful. Yeah. Oh man, making me think here. Making me really think. What am I doing tonight? I think I'm just hanging out with my child and being a normal person. Mm -hmm. This thing should shut off right now. It's what's the minute just turned. It says one forty-four remaining. I just need to have got a minute forty-four. Uh, yeah, yeah well, regular I mean, night for me. How many pages did you get done today? Uh, I think I've penciled uh, three, three pages, which is a bit rubbish. I spent most of the morning troubleshooting for the shop and doing a few emails, a bit of housekeeping. Uh, yeah, I did, yesterday I got six and a half penciled, but I was really on it. Well, I guess it's only four. I've got another hour of work time, so who knows what I can get done. But I might just uh, sit in my beanbag and play video games on my big TV for an hour. Oh my gosh, with these looming deadlines, are you crazy? I am. I'm a fucking madman. Well, I'm I'm sort of ahead on this. And, you know, i got to have a bit of downtime, an hour, before I do a, a night of, like, you know, hanging out with a little kid and doing the dishes and, you know, 
So I got him a bit of leisure time. Hashtag self care. Might take a bubble bath, man. With a candle. Exactly. Yeah, I've got I've got nobody. I've got no babies to hang out with. No wives. Um, yeah. It's, it's it's comics twenty four seven here. My life is a mess. Everything is hanging by a thread. Everything. Everything is hanging by a thread. Uh, but I kind of like that. I kind. It's kind of. Um, it's viciously exciting. Very romantic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if all if all else fails, you can come. You could be uh, you could be like a, a roommate over here in this in this mold den. Well, I uh, sincerely hope not. I love my wife and my child and everything. Oh my god, no, this is done. This, um, this is who knows. You know, this is hypothetical here. Yes, deeply hypothetical. I hope. Deeply, <laughs> deeply. Good lord.